happens when stroke happens, when stroke actually happens to anybody or occurs. Some part of the brain cells are dead. Once it happens, some part of the brain cells are dead. Yeah. So the brain cells that, like in the brain, the the left, the right side controls right part of the brain controls the left part of the body. Okay. Left part of the brain controls the right part of the body. Mm -hmm. So most of the times, if the left side is affected, left brain is affected, it can affect the speech box. We will not be able to talk, to talk, well. talk well. Okay, that's the people that have speech. a slurring speech, okay? Yeah, so that happens. So when stroke happens to someone, some part of the brain cells are, are dead, but the way God designed the human body, designed the human body in such a way that they have some brain cells that are not doing the optimum, optimal function. They can pick up other functions. Okay. So okay. when you meet your that's physiotherapist... That's like spare parts. Just like spare parts. Hmm. <laughs> so what the physiotherapist will do is to try to perform the right movement that will be sending impulses. If you remember, for uh, in our, our modern biology, okay. there is what we call structure of a, nu a neuron. You have the neurons. Yes, okay, yeah. you have the dendron. You have the dendrites. Mm -hmm. You have the myelin sheet. Mm -hmm. You have the cytoplasm. Mm -hmm. You have the nucleus. You have the afferent pathway. You have the afferent pathway. Okay. So the physiotherapy, when stroke happens. In the joints, there are what we call receptors, but professionally we call it proprioceptors. That part of the body looks paralyzed as if you are not feeling that part of the body, body is existing. Like blood is not flowing yes. there anymore. You feel like it's not existing. So, but in the joints, those proprioceptors are not dead. Mm -hmm. So, we do a particular kind of movement called it passive mobilization. That's well, when the, the person is doing physio. Yes. Okay. So we do particular, particular movement, we call it uh, passive mobilization. Mm -hmm. So we are moving each and every one of the joints that is affected. So when moving it, we are sending impulses through the afferent pathway to the brain. Okay. The brain, the, 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 the brain cells are not uh, taking much function, will now be getting information that this part of the body is still existing. Okay. Okay. So before you know it, the brain will record the information and start giving commands through the efferent pathway to the effectors, which are the muscles. Okay. So before you know it, you now start seeing some little movements. Mm -hmm. And it starts picking up. Yes. So once a physiotherapist starts seeing that little movement, it, we've, we're already winning. Okay. That's the time we now leverage on that little movement and keep firing and firing to strengthen the weak muscles. They will pick up, and that particular uh, dormant brain cells that are not doing much work will now take up the function of the dead ones. Okay. Yeah. So that's, the that's brain is just one. like so a CPU. Beyond, yeah. Okay, what you yeah. garbage in is what you garbage out. What, what I pick up from there is like when your vehicle spoils and yeah. the part is dead, yeah. you go out to the spare parts yeah. place yeah. Yeah. and buy, buy a spare, spare part like and again, come are back. Are you telling the person to go to a physiotherapist? <laughs> Or is there any exercise they can do for yeah, actually, actually, them and uh, help her? Okay, wonderful question. I usually advise people to go to a physiotherapist. Why? When you feed the brain with wrong exercises, the brain will record it and start giving instructions to uh, to perform those wrong exercises. Mm -hmm. But when you meet a professional, remember that no two patients are the same. So I can't just come out and tell you this is the exercise you must be doing. It's when I assess you professionally, I will now say, okay, this exercise is good for you. The exercise that is good for Mr. A may not be good for Mr. A. You understand? So I will plan your exercise based on what I've seen or based on your presentation. All 